Hello everyone, this is Yogesh Gupta and in this tutorial I'll be showing you how to capture an image of Windows 7 including all the pre-installed software that you want. So basically such as uh, deployment or the image is also called as the golden image in which one can uh, configure as per his uh, requirements and then capture the image uh, for further deployment in other machines. So as you can see in my this machine, virtual machine, I have uh, installed Windows 7, just a moment. And also I have installed the list of custom software that I use like MS Office, WinRAR, KM Player, Adobe Reader, some basic software. So basically in this tutorial, I'll be showing you how to capture this entire image. So for those who don't know, uh, currently I am not logged in as a regular user, but as a built-in administrator and the mode which I am using this year is audit mode uh, namely one can go in this mode using control shift and f3 when uh, windows asks you for a user creation it will directly take you to the admin mode in this ad, uh, audit mode so thereby you are safe from creating the user and thus uh, you can copy the brand new image to other machines so let's get started with this So the first step here that I'll be doing is sysprepping my machine. So let's go for that. My computer, C drive, Windows, System32, and here you'll find a folder sysprep. Here, and now I'll just run it. And I'll select it as generalized. Note that I'm selecting it as generalized because I've already created this image. Uh, that is, I've already installed uh, whatever software I want in this image. So that's. Uh, so now I'll also select shutdown, and I'll click on OK. Now one thing to note here is that we need to kill a process, which hampers with the process this uh, WNMP so we'll need to kill this process see the sysprep didn't work because of this service going on so I'll just once again run this sysprep and right now I'll also kill that service And note that uh, this may take some time so I'll pause the video for okay. time being and we can see that the sysprep has completed successfully and we are about to shut down our PC now I'll have to boot my this virtual machine through the Windows PE disk so I'll change the settings here go to the storage select Sorry. And here I'll select Win PE and click on this uh, master. And I'll click on OK. Now I'll uh, power on the machine once again and make sure that it boots from Windows PE disk. And as we all can see that uh, we have successfully booted to our Windows PE environment. Here now we'll need to be a little careful since we want to first make a note of what drives are what. Now here we'll have to first check which is our windows drive that we need to capture. So first we'll check our C drive and as I can see nothing here. So this isn't the drive which I'm required to capture as of now. Because the drives in this environment do interchange. So I'll check for D and I'll check here. Yeah, as we can see, we have a windows and program files and everything here. So I will have to capture this. And I'll also have to check with my CD drive whether all the files are right. So I'll check once again. And as we can see, we have the image X and so other following files to start this process. So let's get started. And here I'll be executing the image X command. So I'll type image X slash capture is the it is basically the the switch to capture the image 
and where is the image located it's in D and where I want to save it as inside D as install dot vim and I also wish to compress it besides I also want to add flags that this version of windows is professional professional besides this I also like to verify and check the disk once done just hit enter sorry there might be some flaw in the command just a moment okay so I just forgot to give it a label so we'll need to give it a label also and win 7 golden image and I hit on enter and we can see that the process has started and note that this process can take some time so one needs to be patient since it's also verifying our disk uh, image so it's highly advisable to just leave the process alone for some time uh, in the meantime I'll pause the video for time being and once uh, this is complete you will get a message saying that the image capture process has successfully completed and is imaged in D drive so I'll just close this and reboot my computer to check whether the image has been successfully completed or not so I'll just check there so guys let's check whether our uh, install.vim file has been created or not so I had already uh, copied that file in C drive so just check it and we can see that the install.vim file has been created and size is somewhat more than the regular image file that is 5.7978 GB so guys that's all for my tutorials in case if you have any queries or comments please feel free to post it in the comment section below and I'll be glad to help you thank you for watching my tutorials guys have a good day